Maybe we can get on. Dude, what in the world do I got? Oh my gosh. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the love and support recently. In the last episode, we freaking crushed them. It was a good day, and today um, we're out here again, and we're gonna try to catch some more fish. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, also the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Share this video with a friend too, I'd really appreciate it. But today we're gonna be doing some bank fishing, doing some pond fishing. We just rolled up to this beautiful pond, and uh, we're gonna start off with a fluke today and just try to catch some fish. We're just gonna run it, cover a lot of water, and uh, hit a bunch of ponds today. We're gonna be doing some more pond hopping and just see if we can catch some big fish. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys what I have rigged up, and uh, then we're gonna get out in this pond. This is the pond that we're at right here. Pretty beautiful place. A um, little bit of grass, I've seen some boils, big fish boils too, so hopefully we'll hook into a slaunch. So this is the combo that I'm rocking. It's the old Kicking Their Bass X Lose combo. If you guys want to check it out, it's on my website, kickingtheirbass.com. We got left hand bait casters, right hand bait casters, and spinning combos in stock. And I just have a little fluke right here on a uh, extra wide gap hook. Very clean and basic, tied on there with a uni knot. And I have braid on the spinning combo with a uh, fluoro leader. So we're gonna go ahead and get this popping and walk around this bank and hopefully we'll get a really big one to bite. Probably. Oh, oh. Something was just eating me. I got it. Oh. Guys, we just had our first bite. I happened to just lose him. He's playing with it. He's doing something weird with it. He didn't just come up and eat it how a bass usually does. It's weird. All right, boys and girls, we at our next spot. And we gonna give it a shot. Didn't catch any fish so far, so we need to get something on board, something happening. Maybe we can get on. Dude, what in the world do I got? Oh my gosh. Is he big? Dude, he's gotta be big, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a good one, man. Nice fish, dude. First cast on this spot. Look how good he is, man. Almost a four pounder. Oh, dude, that fish tackled it, boys. First fish of the day is a freaking toad. Oh man, that's awesome. We hit a couple ponds before this. I had one bite and then I guess we picked out the right spot to come over here and just get slayed right away. That was my last fluke. He kind of messed it up. Man, is that a good fish right there. Almost a four pounder. He's got a huge head on him and just slender body, but he's a very hefty and thick fish. <laughs> that is awesome to start off today's video right there. Well, there you go, boys. We're gonna get her back in the water. What a nice fish to start off the video. Look at that brute. You see how his head's so fat? His body's pretty fat and his tail is kind of slacking. But it's a really dark fish. You can tell he's been in that grass or under that dock for a minute. What a good fish, man. Thank you, buddy. What a fight too, man, on the spinning combo. That's just so much fun. I've been fighting all these redfish and saltwater fish guys on these spinning combos, but it feels good to get a little old bass to tug like that. But man, let's see if we can get another one. They could be stacked here. Well, guys, I had to bite down that fluke a little bit. I think it's still going. I'm gonna use it as long as I can, really. I'm gonna throw it in that same spot. I was on the edge of that. Oh my God, look at the bait, look at the bait. Right here. Come on, back to back cast, baby. Is it possible? Is it possible? Come on now. Right here, I'm in the middle of the bait. That fall bite's picking up when you, oh my God, one just ate right at the front. All right, I'm gonna cast right there in that same spot on the edge. They're chasing bait right here. It's a perfect little spot right there. Come on, baby, right here. 
slap it. Right here, come on now. Give me another good one. Oh my god, they're chasing me right there. Got another one on the edge of that dock and they're freaking going ham, boys. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice little fish, not a huge one, but Something to start with. They're schooling. Oh my gosh, they're schooling like crazy, dude. I need it. I need to. Oh my god, they're schooling. I need to grab my other rod. Guys, we have this jerk bait. That fluke is just destroyed. I had to grab that jerk bait, man. That fluke's just. I don't know. It's a great bait. It's just it's tore up. Come on, fish right here. Maybe I give it a pause. All I know is they were just going crazy. Whew. Got my adrenaline pumping. See fish schooling like that on bait, it just gets you fired up. They're schooling right off this end of this dock. I might do like a three or four aggressive pop and then a pause. One just popped on me. Oh God, look at the bait, look at the bait. No way I'm not getting hit in that. Oh my gosh, look at this guys. Well that's the bait that keeps flickering. Look at that, oh, tiny bait fish. I can't believe I have one to eat it right here, man. There's popping. I also got one reeling in, dude. Not a big one. A little tiny twinky guy, dude. Fish is no more bigger than that jerk bait. <laughs> Pretty guy, though. Beautiful markings on him. Now we're getting started, guys. That's what you want to do. Pretty little fish. Thank you, Bubba. There he goes. All right, y'all. We are going to put on a different bait. I think I want to put on a lipless crankbait. I'm probably going to put on, like, natural color like this one. See that? I bet I had a lot of good luck at the beginning of this year. It's got a green back with a white bottom on the body. It's so just a basic natural color. It should imitate that shad that's in there. Actually, what about this one? It's got a black back, slightly greenish or gold on the top, and then a white body. This one looks good. I think that might be the sauce. If you guys want to check out any of the baits that I use, by the way, and get a discount on them, I have the link and the code in the description box down below. But yeah, a little... Two tap right here by Strike King. Should get it done. There we go. Looking good. Dude, look at this, bro. They gotta eat this trap. Oh, that's a big one. He's right on me too, dude. Come on, please eat it. Oh, did you see that? That was like a three or four pounder. I just reeled it right through him. He didn't even touch it. They know what's real and what's not, I guess. Gosh, how do you reel right through that and not get hit? There he is. Feels like a decent one. He's fighting good. Yeah, not a bad one at all. Not a big one, but he is a fishy on that new color trap. Took him a second to bite it. I think ripping it and burning this thing really fast is definitely the trick today. Not a big fish, but hey, he's something. He was fun to catch. He felt a lot bigger. Thank you, bub. There it goes. You see that bait right there? Dude, there's hundreds of bait fish just chilling.
That's just stir them up right there, dude. Give it a couple seconds after that water goes by. Come. Oh, I watched him eat that. That was really cool. That was pretty dope. He ain't big, but I just watched him turn on that thing. So these are the ones, guys, if you're using treble hook baits, you should probably be careful with. I usually get the pliers, put them over the water. Just kind of shake it a little bit. All right, buddy, calm down. And then he comes off like that. <laughs> guys you know i just tied this trap on and i got a few fish on it but i think i might need to slow down if i slow down to i know they're chasing bait but there's just like another part of me that's like you know there's so much bait fish in there it seems like they don't really want much to do with mine so i want to tie me on like a little t-rig little texas rig and see if we can get some on that put like a little tiny one fourth ounce little quarter bullet weight right there just lead and then I have a 3 eye extra wide gap, or this might be a 4 eye extra wide gap with a rage crawl in there, which that has caught us more big fish this year than any other bait. So maybe we'll look into a big one of this and drag it right there on that drop off. Because what I assume is like all the baits pushed up to the top of the water column, they wouldn't really eat a jerk bait, which usually they would in that situation. So what I'm thinking is they come up, they ambush that bait, and then they run it back off on that drop off. So with that being said, if I can throw something down there like this crawl and kind of finesse them, I think it might be a good little trick. So we're going to go give this a shot, but green pumpkin crawl, four eye extra wide gap on a one fourth ounce bullet weight. Ooh, that just got hit. That was quick. It's a little rage crawl. I don't know. I want to fish this like this drop off. So I think they, they eat that bait and then they go right back down to that drop off. They chill out and they come back up and they slam that bait again. So if I put this right in front of his nose, it might be a good little idea. Yeah, I got one. Oh, he came off. The heck is that? These fish are eating so dang weird. Yeah. There he is. Got a lot of small ones in here. I don't mind catching them though. Right there on the rage crawl. First fish on the rage crawl. I've had a good couple bites on it. This might be the trick. There's something different than what they're eating. Usually you want to throw exactly what they're eating to match the hatch, but this could be just as good. Thank you, bud. Oh, oh. pick me up and just, there he is. You gotta be really small, man. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I got him. Uh, there he is, it must be really small. <laughs> Dude, what in the world? They are going crazy. Poor freaking bait fish, man. They're just in here to get smunched right now. God, they're going crazy. Oh, oh God, he's right there. I'm literally looking at him. It's crazy. Slam it! Come on, Cody, why'd you have to look at him that way? He said, you know what? I'm not gonna eat it. He's got that Cody guy with him. Not happening today. Where do they? There he is. I was caught him right under the bait fish. That was freaking sweet. They're roaming right under them bait fish. So if you can get this bait 
right underneath of them. Look at that on the rage curl. Not a bad fish at all, man. This has been a cool little video. <laughs> Bank fishing off a dock today and they're just going berserk. Thank you, baby. Get the bait fish and hand feed it. Seriously. Dude, that would be insane. See, they're underneath that bait. You just get that crawl. That's usually where the bigger ones would be anyway. I've been throwing a cast net out. I got another one, dude. Look at that. They're right underneath the bait. So we got a whole slick of bait right here, guys. There's literally millions of bait fish on this dock. I don't know what it is, but they're just pushed right in this corner today. And uh, you got all these bass, and they're hiding right under the bait fish. So they're coming up, and they're ambushing the bait, and then they go back down. And usually when they do that, a lot of bait fish die anyways, and they end up eating them off the bottom. So this rage crawl is actually the perfect presentation right now. You know, if I still had that jerk bait or that little rattle trap on, I think it would be a great bait choice. But the problem is there's millions of bait right here. So, you know, you're just throwing your bait in a million of them. If you put this crawl on the bottom, it's a whole different story. That's how we're catching these fish now. Guys, I'm literally just flipping out this dock, too. This is the weirdest, weirdest thing I've ever seen. I've never caught fish like this. Like, so, like, mindlessly catching them. Like, not really having to make any long cast and do too much. You know, just kind of... Flipping it at the edge of this dock and they're smoking it, dude. Hiding right under them bait. Okay, Jimmy. What a told. Is that a told? Mm -hmm. What you think, Cody? Maybe nine? Ten? 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 Yeah. I got one already. Oh. Just messing me up. They doing it to me. <laughs> oh man, guys, this is so cool. Go ahead and hit the like button if you guys are enjoying this or if you've never seen anything like this, smash that like button for your boy. I really appreciate it. Dang near, might as well have a drop shot just dropping it down off the edge of this dock. But that would smoke them. Now the bait's kind of moved right out here. Get rid of a little further, further a little flip working below the bait pile dude i wish the camera could see this i don't know if you guys can tell oh my god i got a fish oh. <laughs> this is just so crazy this has been a very interesting day of fishing, guys, and I am not complaining one bit. Never caught fish so good bank fishing and doing just, just the weirdest thing that you could possibly think to catch these fish. And they're not giants by any means. That first one we caught was a good one, but, uh, I mean, they're still fun to catch, man. All right, y'all, I think we're going to end off today's video. We hit two more spots after that last one, but that last spot was so saucy, man. I mean, they were just eating it. There was so much bait. It, just, it was just, it was bound to catch them there. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Share this video with a friend. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll catch y'all in the next episode.